what's up youtube back with another video that's right exploring every bit and today we are going to greece um so far so good we're on time we got two hours before the before the plane leaves so currently we're about to get us something to eat and then getting ready for this greece flight layover is london so of course me being who i am i'm going to explore every bit in london for those eight hours i'm excited my first time to greece Siobhan's excited, her first time to Greece. So let's go YouTube, don't forget, subscribe, like, and keep these videos coming. Love y'all. Please see me daily, 2K man number 233, What's up, YouTube? Just a quick update on my trip to Athens, Greece. I had a six-hour six layover. I'm currently here in London at the bus stop. It is cold and it's wet. Um, the plan was to kind of venture out London a bit. Um, I've been here before um, a couple years ago and I pretty much tore out the entire thing. But my girlfriend is new to London, so I wanted to show her around. But it's cold, it's wet, and we're not prepared. So we're gonna go ahead and hang out at the airport for six hours, unfortunately and um see you in greece roger Raj, checking out what's up youtube finally made it to greece after six hours of traveling today not including yesterday so we're here at the um, here at the airport just got our luggage about to pick up the rent a car and about to go to the hotel beautiful trip so far so good ready to explore every bit i got a question though youtube am i the only one that think we should bring back um, getting your passports stamped. I'm not the only one that think, because I've noticed, I've traveled a few different countries and I asked them for a stamp and they said, no, we no longer do that. But luckily for me today, we're able to get it stamped at Greece. So, so far, so good. Looking forward to exploring every bit in Greece. I'm gonna show you my entire travels. We have four days, I think, to travel and I'm gonna try to see how much I can get into. All right, stay tuned.
welcome to the Wyndham Grand Hotel. This here is the bathroom. Very nice. Very nice. Now I'm gonna take you here to the bedroom. This is where Scarface stood right here and said, the world is mine. <laughs> Getting ready to get on the tour bus, take a quick tour of Athens, see what happens have to offer. As you guys can see, it is very, very crowded down here, okay? There's a lot of people. I think this is a blend of tourists and natives, but majority is tourists. Um, but just so you guys know, if you guys come here on Sundays, um, you guys could get all the museums, you guys get entry for free. So, just an advice, if you want to get in some of these museums that could be costly, come down here on a Sunday and you're getting all these museums for free. Right now we're at the flea market and I'll take you to the museum in a bit. But look at this guys, it's like a, it's like a parade down there. So right now we're going to head up this hill and we're going to go to the side where they have all the little shops. So just a real quick update, um, we 
just got done getting some food and now we're pretty much museum hopping. Um, so we're, we're utilizing the hop on, hop off tour bus, which is a great way to get around in my opinion. Um, a lot of the museums, they're not too far apart from each other, but it's still a lot of walking. So the best way to do it in my opinion is to get on a bus. We pay $20, 20 for me and 20 for her. And um, we're able it to bring us to all the important locations. That's the museums, the, um, what else? Um, the flea markets. Um, but one thing I noticed about this location, downtown Athens, it's a lot of um, tangerine trees, right? Every block we go to, there's a tangerine tree. So we've been wanting to stop and pick some tangerines. And since we're here and we're waiting on our bus, we figure why not pick one or two tangerines? So let's see. Let's see here. All right, so I already asked. We're not gonna get arrested. We're not stealing, right? Um, anyone could pretty much stop and pick them. Um, so let's let's test them out and see. But if you look at the ground here, there's like a thousand of them on the ground. Let's see what we got here. Let's do a taste test. Woo! So I tell you what, if you're sick, if you're sick, you got a bad chest cold, and you need to get rid of it, then you might want to come and pick on these tangerines. These things are sour. Man, I see why all these tangerines are on the tree, and they're on the floor, because these things are sour. Σου χρωστά ακόμα ένα κλάμα Δεν τελειώνει έτσι το πράγμα Δεν είσαι εδώ πως θα πει So we have made it to the uh, Acropolis How do you pronounce this museum? Acropolis Museum And as you can see it is packed here Everybody's out to look at it so we're gonna try to maneuver through this crowd and get in there and see what the museum has to offer. But it's currently uh, 4 p.m. here at um, here in Greece, and we've been out all morning just exploring every bit. All right, so head into the museum. Once I get in there, I'll show you guys. So we're staying at the um, we're staying at the Wyndham Grand, and we can actually sit on the patio, and we could see this all the way from where we're staying, which is one of the reasons why we started to inquire about this place, and now we're here. So let's see if we can get in. <laughs> Wow, look at this view. Look at this view. So we didn't get a chance to make it into, into this um, museum because it's currently closed. But just to give you a look at the outside, from um, approximately a hundred feet away. Um, that was 
quite of an upset, but uh, we definitely found some gold here. Wow, look at that view, y'all. Look at that view. We had a hike all the way up here just to give y'all this view. So make sure we subscribe and like. Alright, I had to hike a mile up here just to give y'all this view right here. Greece is beautiful, y'all. When you get a chance, make sure you come to Greece. Beautiful place, beautiful people, beautiful culture, beautiful food. And the food is very, very affordable. So we, we drove in last night from the airport, um, woke up this morning and got on the hop on, hop off bus. Then we decided it's time to take this rental car off for a spin. Um, definitely um, the best way to get around in my opinion. It's definitely more cost effective. Um, but one point I would give you that is that in Greece, the drive-in is very, very aggressive um, and the roads are tight. So if you decide to rent a car, make sure you're safe or make sure you, you know, you're driving as safely as possible. Um, another reason why we rented a car is because I um, did my research. I found out that it's not a bad place to drive. And on top of that, the steering wheel, as you guys can see, is on the left side, which make it easy. Um, um, but for the most part, driving is not that bad. It's getting us around. Um, we, we get into to do a lot of different things that we probably wouldn't have done if, if we didn't have a car. Um, just make sure, a big pointer, is to make sure that you have a GPS, right? Um, and the only way to have a G working GPS on your phone is to get a SIM card once you get here. So once you get here, you get a SIM card, as I believe is 10 euros, right? But getting a SIM card will allow you to use the GPS here in, the, here in Greece. Um, if not, you're gonna be stopping and asking everybody for directions and you're not going to have that much of a good time because it's going to constantly be interrupted um but yeah so far so good what's up youtube raji raj day three we're still in greece the beautiful greece we just had some amazing greek breakfast we decided that we're going to explore outside of athens so we decided on the beautiful city of naflapi oh <laughs> if i mispronounced that i apologize I'll put the correct um, I'll put the correct title in the, the description as well as the video. I'm extremely bad with names, okay? But we had a lot of amazing fun in Athens. We explored a lot of it. So now we're gonna take the excitement to a new city. Um, that city I just named, I'm not gonna say it again, I'm not gonna butcher it, but it have a lot of exciting things to do. So we're gonna explore every bit. We're gonna do most of it. Um, after the after that city, we're going to stop at the Trachy, another beautiful city. So usually when I travel, I don't stay still. I go from one city to the next. I see what's next door, and I go and explore there, right? So um, we're getting ready to get in the car, and we're getting the ride out. See y'all soon. Checking out Raji Raj, exploring every bit, always. See y'all on the road. Let's go.
I can hear your tears when they drop over the phone. Get mad at yourself, cause you can't leave me alone. Got some sin missing, that ain't what we doing. Traveling around the world, over the phone, got me tears. I ain't get my bond when I do this. When you drunk, you tell me exactly how you feel. Severe rain warning affected area ahead. Please proceed with caution. The rain ain't gonna stop it. We in Greece. I've been traveling around the world. We in the Greece with no roof. I got a career to chase my roof. time away from where What's that? I cannot convince you that What's the roof? I don't know what a roof is. Only like oh, in America we drive it. Like Greece, we ain't got no roof. I know that y'all don't get it. Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? Made me shake his... So we are here at the at the beach. The water is beautiful. And the water, surprisingly, for this time of the year, is not too cold. And it's very clear, as you can see. But yeah, this is beautiful. Beautiful view. I stay in, um, we're staying in, um, in Athens. In Athens? Yes, sir. Where's the, and, I, I, I ask you, uh -huh. uh, you're looking around here. Yeah. You are here with car? Yeah, I'm here with car, yes. So I have a very good uh, tip for you. Uh -huh. If you have time. I have time. I think I have time, yes, and sir. I think, uh, Lucy, I was uh, six years to uh -huh. this guy, uh -huh. and I showed all the, the things. It was beautiful for me, not to the right to be for the, the, the book. I show them the life in Greece and something beautiful. So, uh, to go out on the track, to go the road here, to pass this clinic, all on uh, the beach, you come in the clinic. So we are still in the beautiful city of Latraki. Very beautiful city, very quiet here. Everyone seems to be um, nice. You definitely feel welcome here. Um, and again, it's a lot of places to eat here in Latraki. A lot of pastries, lots of coffee. Every block you walk, there's gonna be a small place to eat. And again, the food here is very, very inexpensive. Here go a, a side street. These look like apartments down here, what they call flats. And to your right is the beach. So this is actually a very nice strip. I can imagine on a weekend that this strip is very much alive and there are people hanging out. Oh, come on. Thank you. Uh, 
pork chicken, extra large vegetarian wrap. I'm gonna have a pork gyro. Pork. Yeah. Pork wrap. Everything. Everything. Yes. Okay. Here, take away. Um, we're eating here. Thank you. What are you getting? Um, what is the other gyro? The not chicken. the pork, not chicken. Lamb. Lamb. You have a lamb gyro. Chicken, pork. That's oh, right. only chicken and pork. Oh, only chicken and pork. I'll do pork. Pork gyro. For you. For me. Pork. Two pork in an order of French fries. One French fries. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of these places here, small places to eat on every block, every corner. That's your bicycle? <laughs> it's a beautiful bike. It's beautiful. <laughs> Today, she's going to sample her very first gyro. I don't know which way to take it from. Oh God, <laughs> we fix that what you just said. That sounds wrong. That sounds very wrong. Okay. She's sampling the fries. Fries are good? A1? Fries are very good. Okay. You didn't get no meat in that? I did. Okay. How was it? Very very good. Okay. I don't know if this is um, this is the pork gyro. That's the pork gyro. Amazing. And this place is called the Pita Bar. The Pita Bar, y'all. Make sure y'all come. Thank you, brother. Thank very you good very food, much. man. Very good food. Thank you very much. Bye. All righty now. So, just had some very, very good food at the pita bar. And um, now heading back to the car, and we're gonna venture out a little bit more in this beautiful city. And you remember when I told you guys about the graffiti? Um, there's not too much graffiti here in this city compared to Ath Athens, but as you can see, graffiti is everywhere. And these people here, they don't like the police too much. <laughs> but, um, Beautiful, beautiful city. If I had to move to Greece, <coughs> excuse me, I would definitely move here and live in this city. If y'all come to Greece, make sure y'all visit this small little city here. And to be honest with you, it's not a bad um, city to, to stay in if you're visiting. And Athens would still be about an hour away. So you could come stay here in, here in this city and you can still venture to Athens. And honestly, if I had to do it all over again, I would have probably got a hotel here instead and stay here. Athens is beautiful, but it's a, it's a lot of, it's very touristy. It's very touristy, very congested. Um, so I would definitely stay here where it's a, where it's a, where it's a little bit more calm and um, drive to Athens and hang out there and come back here. But here's the beach. The beach is right here on this strip. It's under construction currently. Let's go this way. How do you pronounce this city again? Latraca? La what is, how do you pronounce it? Latraca. La yes, yes, sorry. So this is Latraca. And as you guys can see again, the mountains. So we're walking on the inside currently by the beach to get back to the car.
Look at this view, y'all. Beautiful. And the weather is great for this time of the year. Very beautiful weather. So we are um, heading up to the mountains to the, what is it called again? Latrica. We're, no, we're in Latrica. Um, we're heading up to the mountains of, what is this mountain called? Oh, the Masonary. We head up to the Masonary. Um, but if you look at some of my previous videos, you see um, there's footage of those mountains. So we will be going up into the top of those mountains right now. Definitely looking forward to it. Me being the adventure junkie that I am. But yeah, y'all, listen. Um, Latrica is very beautiful. If I had to choose between staying here or Athens, I would definitely stay in this city. I'm definitely excited. I kind of ventured out of Athens. Um, Athens is beautiful, um, but it's very, again, very touristy and very congested. Um, but here, it's, it's less tourist. Um, it's more residential. More residential. So if I, if I consider one day moving to Greece, this is where y'all find me, right here in this beautiful city. Look at this, look at this view. If you look all the way to the top, there's a house. Um, that's, where, that's where we're heading, all the way to where that house is. That's where we're heading. So as you can see, it's gonna be um, a lot of driving to get up that high. But again, y'all, this is beautiful. I think we definitely made a good decision by choosing to venture out of um, Athens and coming this way. And tomorrow, we have another city to explore. Also looking forward to that. And of course, we're gonna explore every bit together. So don't forget, y'all, make sure y'all subscribe and like. Okay, these trips, they cost a lot of money. And um, this is me sharing it with you. So if you guys decide you wanna come to this city, or come to this country, I should say. It gives you an idea of what to expect. Um, I like to give out some pointers in this video to make your stay a little more easier than mine. Um, so, it's been a good stay so far. But it's been an amazing stay so far. No regrets at all. No regrets at all. We decided to stop here and get this amazing view. Um, listen, this view right here is worth a million dollars, y'all. All right, this view is worth a million dollars. Um, I'm doing this for y'all, okay? I'm sharing this experience with you guys. If you guys come to Latrica, there's not too much tourist presence. Um, as we're going to the mountains, we're probably three cars up. Um, so this is a good place to come where it's not crowded. You get to enjoy the view. You get to enjoy the view while you're coming up, but it's a must do. Can you see me? Must do. So we finally made it to the top of the mountain and to the monastery. Except we're not quite there yet because now we got to do the rest of it on foot. And it's quite some ways up. But as I promised, I would share this experience with you guys. And if you hear my voice, I'm already out of breath. That's how high up we're going. We're probably at the highest point in Greece right now. This is definitely some workout. This is why you don't skip leg day, people.
done here in the city of Latraki. Um, I can't repeat enough how beautiful the city is. I wish we had more time to, um, to check the city out, but we want to get back on the highway before it gets too dark. Um, but again, beautiful city, beautiful, beautiful people. Um, we went to the went to the mountains. We ate some food here, and we kind of drove around and spoke to some of the locals. Um, beautiful city, again, can't repeat it enough. Um, and now we're on our way back to Athens, the busy city. Okay, so. Um, left Athens as you can see we're back in Athens <laughs> you can clearly tell we are officially back in Athens completely different vibe um, so we're back we just parked the car and now we're heading to get some um, get some pastries which pastries are not hard to find pastries on is on every corner every corner and look as you guys can see the prices are very affordable 250 250 that's 250 euros I guess Pastry, pastries and coffee is on every corner in Greece <laughs> Man, this traffic here is crazy. This traffic here is crazy. Trying to cross the road and not get hit. I prefer the other one. This one is too small and it's more so outside. Yeah, but it's outside. I don't want to lose it outside. Yeah. No, there's no pastry. I'm free. See, that's. Where's the where's the pastry? Pastry. Is there a pizza? Oh, what's another one? What was the one that we just left? No, the big one by the house where we ate it the first night. Oh, that one. Yeah. By the hotel. Where is it? It's right here. Yeah. More pastries. So you get this entire pizza for three dollars. You sure you don't want to eat here? No. Fine. Let's go. So that's a smaller um, bakery. We're gonna to go to the bigger bakery down here. I wanna get like a cake with. I got cake galore there. Are you show them the fruits you got at the market? Oh, did you? Show who? Oh. So it's currently 6.30 in Greece, Athens, Greece. So this is a. Uh, is that gelato? Yes. So this is oh the bigger, bigger, bigger oh. right here. Oh, cheesecake and gelato. They got everything here. Everything.
restaurant Kiko. Hello sir, how are you? Thank, you? thank you very good. Thanks come my brother. This is so I see. He's coming. Great tourist. Very good sir. Hello sir. How are you? How are you? This is so I see. International Gypsy yes. King. Yes. He's come tourist in Satya. they don't show you um, it's currently 10 o'clock at night on a Tuesday and this is we're still downtown Athens um, in the daytime it's a lot more clean but at night <laughs> what they say the freaks come out at night it's extremely sketchy down here at night downtown Athens there's a there's a, a lot of um, homelessness down here. As you can see, these are all homeless people. These are all homeless people down here. I ain't listening to them. All homeless people. And mind you, these, this is again, this is downtown. Um, you still have five-star hotels down here. This is where the tourists in this area is where the tourists hangs out. And again, just to kind of give an idea what downtown Athens look, how it looks at night. This is what you get. Still a beautiful city. And the police presence is very heavy. Uh, and this explains why the police presence is so heavy down here. Um, the crime rate is still extremely low. Um, I haven't seen anything um, violence wise since I've been here everyone is still pleasant um, I had a guy earlier not too long ago um, telling me not to record because he saw that I was recording some of the sketchy stuff <laughs> so he told me not to 
um, but I'm still recording. And again, we are downtown Athens. This is downtown, where majority of the five-star um, hotels and resorts are. We're kind of walking around looking for a bar. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. Everything is like 15 minutes away. Driving this is like six minutes, but walking this is like 15, 15 minutes. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of prostitution and lots of homelessness. Still can't believe this little guy told me not to record. This guy's like 5'2", 100 pounds yelling at me. Don't record! <laughs> so as you guys can see, here is a city hotel. Got a bunch of tourists getting ready to check in. So it's still a nice area to be in, but it's just, just what you get in Athens. All I'm getting is a video of your head. All people are coming back to their tours and being in the shows and stuff. So even though it's um even though it's a uh, even though it's a bit sketchy down here, as you can see, people are still hanging out despite how sketchy it is. Um, the homelessness is, is very well much um, prevalent, but they don't bother you too much. But um, this is a lot of people over here leaving the show. up YouTube so we just pulled over um, we're on our way to Nuflio another um, big city in Greece um, all the locals they're talking about it they tell us it's somewhere we should go um, so we're taking a hike today and this I'm telling you this this view this place is breathtaking like look at the view little photo bomb back there but look at the view we just pulled over because we just had to stop and capture this amazing view like this is just amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Just amazing. So we have just, we just entered the, um, the city definitely has an historic feel to it. Um, they said it's one of Greece's most romantic cities as well. But yes, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful city. It's surrounded with water, countryside, mountains, and it's very known for its castle. It's called Fortress of Kalamadi. So this is the Fortress of Kalamadi's 30 minute hike up there. Yes. So again. And you see a lot of the tourists are on their way there, a lot of schools, a lot of children. So I'm going to definitely do this for my viewers. So make sure you guys subscribe and like. I'm going to walk all the way up this hill for you guys as well as myself, but I'm going to take you guys with me, all right? Um, but yes, uh, this city is definitely touristy in comparison to Latrak, Latraki, where we went yesterday, which was more residential, residential Lutraki. 
Um, again, sorry for mispronouncing these names. Um, but as you can see, it looks like a, a, um, a tour bus of kids. I think they might be doing it for their school. Um, wish I had that option back when I was in school. <laughs> My school definitely did not have that option. But again, very historic. I'm gonna pretty much explore every bit of this city as much as I can. And I'm gonna definitely take you guys with me. mountains up these stairs I should say it makes you sweat you got to start stripping down the further you get up <laughs> it's a lot of walking and if you don't like heights this probably will not be the best uh option but just the point because I mean but it's so worth it just the pointer all the museums you have to walk up a mountain or a flat or some stairs to get to them. Just the point. So prepare yourself when you come on these adventures, sightseeing, excursions. Make sure you wear comfy clothes and comfy shoes. We decided to Four climb this. Oh, okay. It's okay. nice. In the top there is a prison of our national hero, Fedor Skolo Good to see you guys, man. Good luck. <laughs> 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 you guys are good. Let's take a picture with them, man. They're good guys. Yeah. 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 Still currently in Nafi Pleon. Um, we just made it down the mountains. Um, it was it took two hours of our day. Um, it was worth the hike. But after hiking up there, we, we found out that you can um, drive as well. So what I would recommend is instead of hiking, unless you have a couple of days to waste and unless you're feeling adventurous, instead of hiking, just kind of just drive to the top. But now we're on food adventures. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> yes, we look at it. Food. Smells really good. So I would um I would definitely recommend coming here. Um, but I'll I'll definitely recommend giving yourself more time, maybe a full day, get here in the morning early and then start venturing out to see what you can get into. I love, I love the drive here. If you're leaving Athens, um, it's a beautiful drive, beautiful scenic drive. Um, I definitely recommend it. Um, I got out of the car a few times just to kind of look and see where I was and just take it all in. Um, very beautiful drive. Nine thirty on a Thursday night, downtown Athens. This is what it looks like. Everyone out and about. Wait, look at the, you're not gonna look at the menu here? No pictures? Yeah, that's 
they do. Downtown Athens, the city that never sleeps. So when you come on vacation, just know there's always gonna be something for you to do. There's always gonna be a bar or a restaurant open where you can enjoy some fine Greek cuisine. And just literally this way until about 2, 3 a.m. Uh, most of these restaurants, they close about um, 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, well, not so much restaurants, more so the bars. The restaurants, majority of them closes at around 12.01, um, um, but the bars are open till about 3 or 4 a.m. So I'm gonna sample a traditional Greek beer. Oh, that's dope. Very good. It tastes like a, a it tastes like a Heineken, but a little bit more stronger than a Heineken. But it has a similar taste. Very good. It's called My Soul. Greek beer. My Soul. <laughs> Is it Mythos? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought the T. I thought it, I thought the T was an L. <laughs> From this angle, the T looks like an L. But my my thoughts, very good. You're, you're drunk. No, no, I'm not drunk, but it's a very good beer. I like it. One of my favorite beers is Heineken and the Guinness, and this is very close to a Heineken, so good choice on my end. Officially, my last day, our last day in Greece. Um, we board the plane at eight o'clock, so we're trying to find some last-minute things to get into. Just kind of look around one more time and get some souvenirs. Um, but I must say, this trip was absolutely amazing. I am not ready to go back home. I would love to redo this again. Um, I tried my best to explore every bit. Um, a lot of things were left out, but for the most part, we had an amazing time. Um, the people here are amazing. The food is amazing, very inexpensive. Um, what I would recommend to y'all though, if y'all come here, try to rent a car. It's probably the, the best way to move around and the most inexpensive way to move around this country. That way you can explore more and not just be stuck stuck in uh stuck in one location or spend a bunch of money on uber this was the best choice we made renting a car but it's currently two o'clock 
two o'clock in the afternoon here in Greece, Athens, Greece. We received a free shot on the house. Uh, we're going to toast to our last day in Greece. Um, every restaurant you go to here, they give you free shot or free dessert. So we're going to do our final toast here in Greece. Opa! Opa! <laughs> Tastes like licorice. Wow. That was good? It was good. Ooh. That's what they call that a Greek vodka. Thank you, Greece. We love you, Greece. See you again at some point. Beautiful trip.